Now it's time for you to go create a folder structure for your project. Inside, you're going to need a CSS file for your framework, and you'll also need a test HTML file. The structure you create for your portfolio folder should look something like this, and you can use the structure you created in the last lesson. Make sure that you have a folder for your CSS files because we might need more than one. In large projects, that's pretty common, so it's a good idea to have this organization from the very beginning. I'm going to do two things to make sure that this is correct. First off, I'm going to create a style in main.css, which is going to be linked in test.html. Then I'll open up test.html with some code in it just to test, and we'll make sure that those CSS styles in main.css are applying to test.html. Within test.html, I created a link to main.css, which is of course within the CSS directory. Inside the body, I added framework test page, and I included it within an h1 tag. In main.css, to make sure it's working, I changed the color of the h1 tag to green. So we should see the text framework test page show up in the page in green. Let's take a look. So I'm over in the browser. I'll go to file open, which lets me open this test.html file. I'll click open. And here we see framework test page show up in green. Let's just triple check to make sure this is right. Let's change the color to blue and see if it works. Save, come back over. I will hit refresh. And now framework test page is in blue. So we know we've got our HTML and CSS files in the right place. Now I want you to set up your folder structure and files. When you're done, it should look like what you see here. Check this box when you're ready to move on.